more Netflix, more chill. Don't waste time choosing a movie. Welcome to a journey through the shadows and light of human history. Tonight, we delve into a story that stands as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, the power of compassion, and the impact of one person's choice to do good amidst the darkest of times. The film we're discussing is none other than Schindler's List, directed by the legendary Steven Spielberg. Before we begin, here's a trivia question to keep in mind. What item of clothing became an iconic symbol in this black and white film, and what does it represent? Keep watching to find out. Now, let's talk about why you should watch Schindler's List tonight. This isn't just a movie. It's a cinematic masterpiece that captures a pivotal moment in history. It's based on the true story of Oskar Schindler, a German businessman who saved the lives of more than a thousand Jewish refugees during the Holocaust by employing them in his factories. Firstly, the film's historical accuracy is commendable. Spielberg went to great lengths to ensure that the portrayal of events was as true to life as possible. The source material, Thomas Cannelly's novel Schindler's Ark, provided a detailed account of Schindler's life and the lives of those he saved. Spielberg brought this to the screen with such authenticity that you feel as if you're witnessing history unfold before your eyes. The performances are another reason to watch. Liam Neeson's portrayal of Oscar Schindler is powerful and nuanced, capturing the complexity of a man who is flawed yet heroic. Ralph Fiennes's Amon Goeth is chillingly effective, embodying the cruelty of a Nazi officer with terrifying realism. And let's not forget Ben Kingsley's performance as it sucks turn, a character who represents the quiet strength and dignity of those who suffered. The cinematography of Schindler's List is a marvel in itself, Shot almost entirely in black and white, it evokes the period in a way that color films simply couldn't. The use of shadows and light isn't just a stylistic choice. It's a narrative tool that Spielberg uses to contrast the darkness of the Holocaust with the light of hope and humanity. Now, let's talk about the music. John Williams' hunting score is a character in its own right. The violin solos, performed by the renowned Itzik Perlman, convey a sense of mourning and remembrance that stays with you long after the film ends. For those who appreciate the power of storytelling, Schindler's List is a master class. It's not just about the events of the Holocaust, but about the individual lives, the personal stories of those who lived, died, and survived. The film doesn't shy away from the horrors, but it also highlights moments of kindness and bravery that provide a glimmer of hope in the darkest of times. As we near the end of our discussion, let's return to our trivia question. The item of clothing that became an iconic symbol in Schindler's List is a little girl's red coat. It's one of the few splashes of color in the film and represents the innocence of the victims and the impact of individual lives amidst the atrocity of the Holocaust. So, why should you watch Schindler's List tonight? Because it's more than a film. It's a reminder of what we are capable of, both good and bad. It's a tribute to those who were lost and a celebration of those who survived. It's a story that needs to be told, remembered, and passed on. If you've watched Schindler's List and have been moved by its story, or if you have thoughts on the importance of preserving history through film, please share your comments below. Your engagement helps keep these conversations alive. And if you found this video insightful, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more content that delves into the stories behind the stories. Remember, every view and every subscriber helps ensure that these important tales are not forgotten. Thank you for spending your time with us. May we all carry forward the lessons of history with the hope of a brighter tomorrow. Goodbye and take a moment tonight to reflect on the legacy of Schindler's List. If you enjoyed this video and want to support two big movie enthusiasts, please smash that subscribe button. Also, if this video helped you, please again smash the like button. We would love to hear your opinion on this movie, so please leave a comment as we are very curious to hear your take. If you decided to watch the movie, please come back and let us know how you liked it. Furthermore, if you have a friend that needs to watch this movie, please feel free to share the link. Thank you for your support and see you soon.